Hi beauties! Today is all about a foundation. Today I'm going to do a natural foundation look, but also dewy. I love natural, just it just shines and it's bright and it just looks like real skin. That's what I love about it. And the dewiness, the playing with the highlights, that's also my thing. So yeah, why not? Incorporate those two together and we've got a dewy natural look for today okay if you're intrigued just say on watching and let's start this video <laughs> Before I put on foundation, I make sure my skin is clean and it's nourished. So I use the serum for my face and eyes and I put a moisturizer on first and let that set for a while before I put on my foundation. Then I use the NYX primer, the Dew Me Up. And I just dab it on my face. Just tap it in very soft. So. so the second one is the Charlotte Tilbury primer. It has a very nice uh, sheen in it. I'm just placing little lines and on the nose. Then I'm just gonna smear this out. You can see that it gives a dewy look. Up to the foundation part. This is also a Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Light Wonder in color 4. And yeah, this is a lightweight foundation, so it's not a full coverage, it's just light. And you can build it up to semi-medium, not more than that. Then you need something else. I make a V here, I just do a stripe and a stripe. Okay, so we got two choices, a brush. Or a beauty sponge they're both from real techniques first I'm doing the brush and I'm just making tapping motions work it into the skin and I just want more coverage here in the middle of my face than on the outer part and now I'm going to fan that out because we want to keep it natural Okay. Don't forget the ears. So I take my brow region with it. Not the eyelid, but yes, to the brow. So this is with the brush and now we're going to use the beauty blender so it's more sheer if you do it with the beauty blender and my preference is really the brush for this foundation so I'm going to do this side a little bit more, but then with the brush. See, this is already the first base layer. And this is with a light foundation. Then I'm going to use my concealer. The concealer is by NYX, Born to Glow Concealer. And this is in the color 1.5. And because this is natural look, I don't use a lot of it. So just three, three dots and that's it. 
then in the middle part of my nose three top lip and chin because we want that to be bright as well and we can use the brush or a sponge but I'm going for the brush because I love how it fades out so we bring it a little bit further and then we bring it down just stamp it stamp 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 not too hard just gentle and let the brush do its work I'm going to use the contour color and you can see it's almost empty so I just take a little bit with my finger and I just make dots everything in dots you see and then whatever is left just make a stripe underneath the chin and then we've got the forehead just dot 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 okay then it's just whatever is left on my finger I just drag it down a little on the sides of my nose and I'm going up and it's just what is left and also I'm doing that underneath my lip I'm taking my uh, ring finger and I'm just going to tap that and blend it and fade it out downwards. Now I'm going back in with the brush and I'm just doing the same tapping motions and I'm just starting here on the lowest part and I'm going up and this is to prevent that we're not going further than where we place the last dot I'm happy now so then also for this I'm going towards my hairline because you don't want a big white line like a picture frame you know everybody can see you didn't blend out your contour well What I'm going to do next is the highlighter, the cream highlighter, and I put it on the sponge like this. And I just distribute it evenly everywhere on the tip of the sponge so that we don't get too much in one place on our face. <laughs> yes. And then I'm going to tap that of where I want my highlighter to be just press it on so we can do the nose a little bit more chin and then with the last part the last bits on the sponge we can take a little bit on the sides of the forehead never here because you don't want to beam in somebody's face or bang here's my highlight no that's not what we want we want a natural dewy look nothing much nothing more so this is natural dewy i'm glowing and you can leave it with this and say, okay, I'm calling it today. I've got my contour, I've got my highlights. I got a little more color in my face because of the foundation and hey, I'm done. <laughs> but now we're here and I want to show you everything that's possible. So I'm going a 
step further. Next, I'm going to take the NYX palette. This is the powder contour palette. And I'm going for the second color in, in the palette. Don't take too much, just a little bit. And softly diffuse it where you have your contour. And then I'm just going to tap it lightly on my forehead. This way I set the cream in place. What I want <laughs> is my highlighter. And I'm using the pink and the golden one together. And I just tapped it off real good so there's not too much. And then I'm just going to lightly go over the already placed highlight and then we get this guys i just love this so much then we can go between the eyes and a little bit on the bridge of the nose for the top lip i'm taking a little blending brush if it's little it's okay and then you can do the cupid's bow Just like this, a little bit there. Normally I don't do this, but this is such a gorgeous glow. So a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the chin. We take it a step further and we're going to enhance the contour that we made already. But we do it with the same brush as we did the highlights. And then I've got this beautiful brownish highlighter. I just take three little light taps, tap it off, tap it a little bit on my hand and then do the same and go over that So and a little bit there. Actually, we don't want to be that shiny, but for now it's okay. Then we have the blush. I'm using NARS, the Orgasm. Yes, it's already almost gone, but it's the little one. So, and it took me a long time to make that one empty. It's my favorite. It goes with every skin color, so. Then I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm just doing it lightly. Not that much, just tap it very lightly. And next to my nostrils. That's where I'm getting very greasy. A little bit on my forehead, just with what is left on the forehead. And then we get a very satiny finish when you think something is shining too bright on your face and you don't want that on that specific spot just take your powder and go over it and make it more matte again and then you still will have that shine but not as bright as you applied it before you see it's already toned down a bit this is, by the way, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfection Micro Powder <laughs> in color one, fair. So let me do the total look off camera and I will be right back. And this is the final result for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to do a dewy foundation. Uh, there are many ways to achieve a dewy foundation. You can also do first a matte and then all the highlighting on top of it. I choose this way. This works for me and my skin. So I hope you find your way. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of the videos. 
and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up it will help my channel grow and that's just what i need of course <laughs> and i will thank you for watching and see you next time bye